Hi, teachers. Um, just sharing some tips that uh, might help us speed up our laptops when we're doing our online classes. All right. So we just had our Google Meet Kumustahan a few days ago, last Friday, and some of us have been complaining that our laptop seems to have been lagging, slowing down, and uh, some, some of us who even got those new Acer laptops from the school also experienced this one, these. So it's not actually much of the brand, it's not really of the model, but it's actually more of what we call the RAM. Put it in simpler terms, the higher your computer or your laptop's RAM, the better it could do at multitasking. Meaning to say, the higher your computer's RAM, the more apps, the more processes it could run simultaneously. Let me show you my own computers. All right, so for example, I have here my Google Chrome browser open. I need to start or join a meeting right now. Um, but if you've noticed, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tabs open. Okay, so um, Google Chrome itself is already eating up quite a big chunk of your RAM or your random access memory. How do I know that one? Okay, let's open our task manager by pressing Control, Alt, and Delete. Okay, open task manager, and you'll be directed to this one. Okay, all right. So here, when I click processes, it lists down all the processes that my computer, my laptop, is currently running right now. So we have here, it says here, Google Chrome 27. Okay, despite just having eight, eight tabs open in Google Chrome. It says there are 27 apps or processes running inside this particular browser. Why is that so? It's because all of these extensions, okay? I have here several extensions. I have LastPass, I have Adobe Acrobat, I have McAfee, and so on and so forth. So, so right now, here it says that Google Chrome is using 1,489 almost 1500 megabytes of ram that's almost uh, if we convert it into gigabytes to gb that's about more than a gig of ram being used for my google chrome alone and aside from that my spotify is open my viber for desktop is open i have an open i have my microsoft powerpoint open and so on and so forth okay these are the open programs i'm running and of course, Windows also needs to run these what we call background apps. Okay, these are the apps that Windows uh, need to run even if you don't click on it. Yeah. All right. So aside from the tab of the processes, maybe one other tab that we need to look at before we do anything to speed up our computer is this performance tab. So let's click this up. Uh, it says here memory. This actually shows the memory or specifically our laptops or computers random access memory or the RAM. Here I have 12 gigs of memory. It's my, my laptop is actually an upgraded one. It's uh, it used to be just four gigs, but I have upgraded it by adding eight more gigs to it. So now it's 12. Okay. And uh, if you look at this bar graph, it says here. 48%, okay, 4.8 over 10.0 gigs. Um, I'm not just sure where the two gigs went. Maybe there's a buffer amount of uh, RAM that the computer needs. But based from the total 10 gigs of usable RAM, my computer is now running with 4.8 RAM gigs of RAM used currently right now. So that means um, if your computer just has the minimum requirement of four gigs of RAM, and you are your computer is running the same apps, same process that my computer is running right now with 4.8. That means that you your computer will be using the entire amount of RAM. So that means your computer most probably will, will be slowing down because it can't keep running those apps, all those programs, all at the same time, it will definitely slow down or worst possible scenario, your computer will be crashing every time you load it up, every time you open all those programs all at the same time. So one very good suggestion that I could give is really to upgrade your RAM so that you could 
do all those processes without your computer slowing down. So if you don't have the budget yet right now, what we can do, well, again, because of so many apps and programs open, what we can do is simply close the tabs, close the apps. If I'll just be using the Meet alone, maybe uh, I could close Google Drive, all these Google Docs, which I will not be using for my Google Drive session, this YouTube um, tab, this tab for Facebook, this one, I think I need this one for my recording right now. All right, so I've closed that one. What else can I close? I think I don't need to play um, Spotify music while doing my meet session. I think I might not need to view my PowerPoint presentation while doing that session. Uh, Viber, I would like to choose uh, to keep this open so that I'm updated with the messages coming in. Uh, this folder can also be closed because File Explorer is using a little bit of RAM. All right. A while ago, it was about 40, 40 something percent. Now it's about it's now at 35 percent. So the RAM tremendously went down. So a while ago, it was at 4.8 out of 10 gigs used, but now it's at 3.5 gigs out of 10 gigs used. So just closing the programs which you will not be using for your meet session just closing the chrome tabs which you will not be using for the meet session will tremendously reduce the amount of ram your computer is using okay uh, for a particular time all right i now have my chat getting here with me she's been watching me record those uh, that instructional video but i hope it helps a lot teachers okay so again um first uh, if you have the budget upgrade your ram and second, if we don't have the budget yet, close all apps not needed, close all programs, and close all tasks, background tasks running by Windows, which are not needed. Bye-bye.